Maritime Cyber Risk Management Course, Lecture 2, Cybersecurity Fundamentals. Technology is moving at a rapid pace. We need to move at the same speed for us to maintain our security. As the maritime industry moves to digitalization, new threats arise. With cyber crimes becoming more and more a reality in the maritime industry, the need for a solid cybersecurity strategy is inevitable, and it starts with awareness. Hi, my name is Om Ferias, and I'm the Chief Technical Officer of Far East Maritime Training Center, and I will be your instructor for this course. In this video lecture, we will be talking about Cybersecurity Fundamentals. Welcome to FEMFI TV, Far East Maritime's YouTube channel, where existing and future maritime professionals come to get informed and inspired. Please hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out on our latest contents. Cybersecurity, as defined by networking giant Cisco, is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from cyber attacks that aims to access, change, or destroy sensitive data. These attacks also aim to extort money and interrupt normal business processes. Sensitive data that you own is more commonly called in the cybersecurity field as digital assets. These digital assets are not tangible, example of which are photos, videos, files, and programs that the owner, whether it be a person or a company, can manage, distribute, retrieve, or archive. Implementing effective cybersecurity measures is particularly challenging today because there are more devices than people, and the attackers are becoming more and more innovative. As per Statista, more than 3.5 billion people own a smartphone the majority of which own more than one smart device. I myself own a laptop, an iPhone, and an iPad. The three pillars of cybersecurity. A successful cybersecurity strategy has multiple layers of protection spread across all devices within the protected network. Let us now look at the three pillars of cybersecurity. First up is technology. Technology is essential to giving organizations and individuals the tools needed to protect their devices from cyber attacks. Most common tools used include next generation firewalls, antivirus softwares, DNS filtering, malware protection softwares, and email security solutions. Next is processes. Organizations must have a framework for how they deal with both attempted and successful cyber attacks. Protocols in place regarding safe web browsing and email use can come a long way with regards to keeping digital assets secure. Last one is people. People is perhaps the weakest link in the three layers. No matter how expensive your firewall and antivirus are, or how pinpoint your NIST framework-based company protocols are. If the user is careless, then everything is of no use. In an organization, the people, processes, and technology must all complement one another to create an effective defense from cyber attacks. Resource versus Security our time and our money are precious, so we want to spend as little of them as possible on security. Security is not the end goal. The end goal is getting on with our daily operations and activities such as surfing the web, buying stuff online, writing an email, 
or running an online business. Security is just an enabler. We would not want to apply too much or too little security or it could affect our resources. The goal of cybersecurity is to protect our digital assets while still doing what we need and want to do online. Privacy and Anonymity Through other things that are of value when we talk about cybersecurity are privacy and anonymity. They are both increasingly necessary as we get increasingly wiretapped and tracked whether legally or not. It's important to understand why the two are an integral part of our civil liberties. Why they are not just beneficial to the individual but absolutely critical to a free society. Privacy and anonymity are not the same thing, so it's best to examine their differences. Privacy is a concept describing activities that you keep entirely to yourself, or to a limited group of people, or basically to anybody you want. Research shows that it goes beyond the want and is a deep need. In all societies true history, people have created private spaces for themselves. Even in the most oppressive regimes, people have found a way to do something outside of prying eyes. In contrast, anonymity is when you want people to see what you do but not who you are. The best example is by posting an opinion online anonymously or using an alias. Without anonymity in society, we've essentially lost the ability to keep authorities in check. The CIA Triad Security is a degree to which your assets are protected from cyber threats. But what do our assets actually need from our security controls? The answer is security attributes. We will tackle these attributes using one of the oldest models in the cybersecurity world, the CIA Triad. CIA is an acronym for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. It's a widely used information security model that can guide an organization's efforts and policies that aims to keep data secure. Confidentiality Only authorized users should be able to access or modify data. Integrity Data should be maintained in a correct state and nobody should be able to improperly modify it either accidentally or maliciously and availability. Authorized users should be able to access data whenever they need to do so. To further understand how the CIA triad works in practice, consider the example of a bank ATM. It provides confidentiality by requiring two-factor authentication, both a physical card and the PIN code, before allowing access to data. It also enforces data integrity by ensuring that any transfer or withdrawals made via the machine are reflected in the accounting for the user's bank account. And last, the machine provides availability because it's in a public place and is accessible even when the bank branch is closed. So to sum up this lecture, cybersecurity is the practice of protecting our digital assets from cyber threats. Our cybersecurity efforts are categorized within the three pillars of cybersecurity, which are the use of technology, the use of processes and restrictions, and empowering people with awareness and skills. All this should complement each other in perfect balance so that we will have a solid cybersecurity strategy. Our digital assets needs to be imbued by security attributes which our security controls enables. Our digital assets should be confidential, unaltered, and always available to us. Questions that would normally pop up in your mind at this time are, what are security controls and what are cyber threats? We will go through them on the next lecture video. So there you have it for this lecture video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more contents like this. See you on the next lecture video and God bless.